when people dress in colorful traditional attire, dancing in circles, celebrating the power of Goddess Yoga. Wow, what a spectacular night this would be. In Maharashtra, Navaratri takes on a unique flavor with traditional performances showcasing the rich personal heritage of the state. Each evening, the atmosphere is filled with the sounds of folk songs, laughter, and companionship as companies come together in joyous celebration. Well, as Navaratri culminates, we witness the grandeur of Jura Puja, predominantly celebrated in our state of West Bengal. The streets across the states transform into a cultural extravaganza, adorned with beautifully crafted candles and intricate idols of Goddess Durga. This festival is not just a religious observance, it is a celebration of art, community, and tradition. The sounds of harp and the enchanting players echo through the air, creating an atmosphere of reverence and joy. Meanwhile, in the southern states, the Sahara is celebrated with equal splendor. In my school, the Royal Sahara procession is a sight to be enjoyed, featuring campus elements, cultural performances, and traditional music that echo City. It's a time of privileging from gratitude as communities come together to honor the goddess and seek blessings for the year ahead. Well, that's some sort of cultural extravagance, isn't it? Now, moving to the northeastern states, autumn heralds the arrival of harvest festivals like Bihu in, in Assam. This vibrant celebration brings communities together to rejoice in the bounty of the land. Traditional people dances and songs resonate through the air, showcasing the joy of harvest and the rich cultural heritage of the region. Indeed, what a distinct dance for Thank you. 